China speeds up development of J-36, J-50 jet, and that acceleration is no longer subtle or theoretical. Recent assessments show that these two sixth-generation aircraft programs are advancing faster than expected, with real designs and testing already underway. We'll explore what's changing, what makes these aircraft different, and why timing is now the key story. The defining shift in recent reports is not ambition, but speed. Multiple assessments referenced by interesting engineering point to one clear conclusion. China speeds up development of J-36, J-50 jet, and that acceleration can now be measured through concrete indicators rather than long-term projections. These aircraft are no longer framed as future possibilities. They are described as active development programs supported by testing and sustained industrial effort. This conclusion comes from how official language has evolved. When defense assessments move away from speculative phrasing and instead describe programs as leaving the conceptual phase, it usually reflects physical progress. That progress includes finalized airframe layouts, active testing infrastructure, and engineering pathways that are already consuming significant resources. At this point, programs gain momentum, decisions become harder to reverse, and timelines become more credible. What makes this acceleration especially notable is that it applies to two separate aircraft at the same time. Developing one sixth-generation platform already requires immense coordination, funding, and technical depth. Advancing two in parallel strongly suggests that these projects are not experimental branches, but complementary platforms designed for different operating environments. One appears optimized for long-range, land-based missions, while the other is tailored for carrier operations, indicating intentional role separation rather than overlap. Projected timelines reinforce this interpretation. Operational readiness for both aircraft is now discussed in the mid-2030s, placing China broadly on a similar schedule to American next-generation aviation programs. This does not imply identical capabilities or outcomes. What it does signal is that development cycles are converging, reducing the gap that once defined expectations. Acceleration at this stage matters because it reshapes planning assumptions. Once testing is underway, feedback loops shorten, refinement becomes faster, production planning starts earlier, and training concepts begin forming alongside hardware. The story here is not about a sudden leap, but about sustained forward motion. This is why the statement matters. China speeds up development of J-36, J-50 jet, and in doing so, it moves the discussion from distant forecasts to near-term reality. The aircraft commonly referred to as the J-36 stands out not because it breaks one specific rule, but because it reframes what an advanced aircraft is meant to accomplish. Rather than focusing on a single performance metric, this platform appears built to manage complexity across wide environments. One of the most discussed characteristics is its tailless or blended wing layout. This design improves efficiency and reduces visibility while creating additional internal space. That internal volume is valuable. It allows designers to prioritize fuel capacity, advanced cooling, and large sensor arrays without external additions that could limit performance. Range appears to be a central design goal. Analysts suggest the J-36 is optimized for extended operations over large distances, where endurance matters more than brief bursts of acceleration. A greater range supports flexibility, allowing the aircraft to adapt routes and remain effective without frequent logistical support. What truly distinguishes this platform is its expected role as an information manager. Instead of acting independently, the J-36 is designed to gather data from onboard and external sensors, process it using advanced computing systems, and share insights across a wider network. In this sense, the aircraft functions as a coordinator rather than a standalone tool. This design philosophy aligns with broader trends in automation and artificial intelligence. By delegating routine tasks to software and focusing human attention on decision-making, the system increases efficiency while reducing cognitive strain. The aircraft becomes a partner in managing information rather than a machine that demands constant manual input. Another notable aspect is cooperation with uncrit platforms. Rather than directly controlling every movement, 
the J36 would oversee task allocation and information flow. This allows multiple systems to operate together smoothly while maintaining human oversight. The importance of this approach lies in how success is defined. Instead of measuring effectiveness by traditional benchmarks alone, the emphasis shifts to awareness, adaptability, and coordination. The aircraft that understands its environment first and responds intelligently holds a clear advantage. Alongside the J-36, analysts point to a second advanced platform known as the J-50, which brings next-generation thinking into one of the most demanding operating environments, aircraft carriers. Designing aircraft for carrier use introduces a unique set of challenges. Takeoff distances are limited, landings place heavy stress on structures, and available storage space is restricted. Every kilogram matters, and every design choice must balance durability with efficiency. Reports suggest the J-50 addresses these demands through reinforced structures, strong landing systems, and a twin-engine configuration that enhances reliability during challenging operations. Some analyses also mention features that improve compact storage, allowing the aircraft to integrate smoothly into carrier hangar spaces. The operating platform is just as important as the aircraft itself. The J-50 is expected to work for modern carriers such as the Type 003 Fujian, which uses electromagnetic launch technology. This system provides smoother acceleration and greater flexibility, making it well-suited for advanced aircraft designs. Functionally, the J-50 is expected to support wide area monitoring, coordinated operations, and extended reach over open regions. Like its land-based counterpart, it is designed to operate within a connected framework, sharing data with other systems, and supporting uncrewed platforms. What makes this approach notable is its timing. Rather than adapting older designs to new roles, China appears to be building advanced carrier aviation around next-generation concepts from the beginning. This reduces long-term constraints and allows the system to evolve more easily over time. By pursuing both land-based and carrier-based platforms simultaneously, China is creating flexibility. Each platform serves a different environment, yet both share a common emphasis on integration, automation, and information flow. This dual-track development suggests long-term planning focused on adaptability rather than short-term solutions. It shows how advanced aviation is becoming, less about individual machines and more about how entire systems function together. In practical terms, this means future upgrades can focus on software, sensors, and coordination tools rather than major structural redesigns. Such flexibility lowers life cycle complexity, improves responsiveness to new technologies, and allows carrier-based aviation systems to remain relevant and effective across decades of operational change. This adaptability also supports smoother integration of emerging autonomous technologies over time. Taken together, these developments point to a clear transition in advanced aviation. China is no longer preparing for the next era. It is actively shaping it through real platforms, real testing, and long-term planning. By advancing two complementary aircraft programs, the emphasis moves toward integration, endurance, and intelligent coordination rather than isolated performance alone. The J-36 and J-50 illustrate a future where aircraft operate as connected nodes within broader systems, supported by automation and data-driven decision-making. This direction reflects wider technological trends and reshapes expectations for how advanced aviation will evolve in the decades ahead. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.